you can obviously this property greatest integer of x plus y is equal to greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of y or greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of y plus y. We have two possibilities. Prove karte hain. Suppose uh, greatest integer of x is equal to m and greatest integer of y is equal to n. Okay. So we have m less than or equal to x less than m plus 1 and uh, n less than or equal to y less than n plus 1. Lik sakte hain se. Okay. Now we add, we add these two inequalities, we get uh, m plus n less than or equal to x plus y less than m plus n plus 2. Okay. So value x plus y lie between integers m plus n and m plus n plus 2 including m plus n. Then what will be value of greatest integer of x plus y? In this interval m plus n to m plus n plus 2 including m plus n we find two integral values m plus n and m plus n plus 1. Okay, so this will be either m plus n or m plus n plus 1. Now put the values of m and n, we get uh, this is equal to this or this. Okay, so much okay. Like uh, we have greatest integer of uh, 1.2 plus 3.5 is equal to greatest integer of 1.2 plus greatest integer of 3.5. Okay, now this sum is uh, 4.7 greatest integer will be uh, 4 okay and here we have greatest integers 1 and 3 this is equal to 4 so this is true and if we consider this one greatest integer of uh, 1.4 uh, uh, plus greatest integer of uh, 3.7 okay then this will be greatest integer of 1.4 plus greatest integer of 3.7 plus 1 okay Check out one This sum is 5.1. Greatest integer is 5. Okay. And here we have 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5. So for these two values, uh, this is true. And for these two values, this is true. Okay. Now here, decimal parts or fractional parts are 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. 0 0.2 plus 0.5 is 0 0.7, which is less than 1. And in this case, sum of uh, decimal parts or fractional parts is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7 1.1 which is more than 1. So when uh, sum of decimal parts or fractional parts is greater than or equal to 1, we use uh, uh, this one, okay, this comparison and when sum of decimal parts or fractional parts is less than 1, we use this comparison. And uh, we keep fractional part always non-negative. Fractional part, you know, decimal part ko hamesha hum non-negative rakhte hain. Uh, wo ya to zero hoga, ya to greater than zero hoga. Like uh, we have here greatest integer of minus 2.7 minus uh, uh, 3.8, okay. This sum is uh, minus uh, 6.5. Its greatest integer will be minus 7 okay what will be uh, fractional parts or decimal parts minus 2.7 is uh, minus 3 plus point 0.3 am aise sakte hai. so fractional part or decimal part of minus 2.7 will be point 0.3 okay and uh, fractional part of minus 3.8 will be, we write minus 3.8 as minus 4 plus 0 0.2. Fractional part is 0 0.2. Okay. And sum of these two fractional parts is 0 0.5, which is less than 1. So we use uh, this comparison. We will write uh, greatest integer of minus 2.7 plus greatest integer of minus. Uh, 3.8 okay this is uh, minus 3 this is minus 4 this is equal to minus 7 ho gaya na ye comparison theke to dhyan rakhna hai ki fractional part ko hamesha hame non negative rakhna hai okay and uh, when sum of fractional parts is uh, greater than or equal to 1 
use this comparison and when sum of fractional parts is less than 1 use this comparison now in this if you replace y by x we get uh, greatest integer of 2x is equal to 2 multiply by greatest integer of x or 2 multiply by greatest integer of x plus 1 here I go okay and from this we can uh, prove that greatest integer of uh, 2x is equal to greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 2. Let's prove this. Suppose greatest integer of x is equal to n where n belongs to set of integers. Okay. Then from this we get uh, greatest integer of 2x is equal to uh, 2n. Okay. So 2x will lie between consecutive integers 2n and 2n plus 1 including 2n. We can write like this 2n less than or equal to 2x less than 2n plus 1. 2x ka greatest integer 2n hai to 2x uh, ye do integers ke beech mein hoga 2n bhi ho sakta hai thik hai na but 2n plus 1 nahi hoga thik hai now we divide by 2 we get uh, n less than or equal to x less than n plus 1 upon 2 ye milega thik hai na now we add uh, 1 upon 2 to all sides we get n plus 1 upon 2 less than or equal to x plus 1 upon 2 less than n plus 1 okay we can say that x plus 1 upon 2 lies between consecutive integers n and n plus 1 abhi we can say that this value consecutive integers n and n plus 1 ke beech mein hoga. n plus 1 upon 2 is greater than n okay this is greater than n so greatest integer of this will be n okay greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to n so here this is equal to n plus n where n is greatest integer of x humne isko n liya tha and uh, we replace this n by greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 2 okay now we consider this case for this we will have uh, greatest integer of 2x is equal to uh, 2n plus 1 okay so 2x will lie between uh, integers 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 2 including 2n plus 1 then we divide by 2 we get n plus 1 upon 2 less than or equal to x less than n plus 1 okay then we add 1 upon 2 we get n plus 1 less than or equal to x plus 1 upon 2 less than n plus 3 upon 2 okay now uh, definitely uh, this is uh, less than n plus 2 this is n plus 1.5 so n plus 2 say come over so x plus 1 upon 2 lies between consecutive integers n plus 1 and n plus 2 so greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 2 this time will be n plus 1 okay so what do we do we split 2 n plus 1 like this n n plus 1 this n uh, is uh, greatest integer of x Isko hum ye likhte hai and n plus 1 will be greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 2. So in this case also we get this result. Thik hai na? To prove ho gaya. Isko aage badate hai. Now we consider greatest integer of 3x. This is greatest integer of uh, 2x plus x. We have two possibilities either greatest integer of 2x plus greatest integer of x or greatest integer of 2x plus greatest integer of x plus 1. Okay? Now further this is uh, from this we will have two possibilities greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x or greatest integer of x 3 times plus 1 humne greatest integer of 2x ko break kiya theek hai na and from this also we will have uh, two possibilities we have uh, 
either this okay this is either uh, greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x or this is uh, uh, greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x plus 1 so yahan pe aayega 3 times greatest integer of x plus 2 okay so basically this has three possibilities greatest integer of 3x is equal to 3 multiplied by greatest integer of x or 3 multiplied by greatest integer of x plus 1 okay these two possibilities are same or 3 multiplied by greatest integer of x plus 2 okay now from this we can uh, prove that greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 3 plus greatest integer of x plus 2 upon 3 is equal to greatest integer of 3x hum ye prove kar sakte hain prove karte hain fir suppose greatest integer of x is n okay so from this comparison we get greatest integer of 3x is equal to 3n here definitely n belongs to set of integers okay so 3x lies between consecutive integers 3n and 3n plus 1 including uh, 3n now we divide both sides all sides by 3 we get n less than or equal to x less than n plus 1 upon 3 okay now we add uh, 1 upon 3 to all sides we get n plus 1 upon 3 less than or equal to x plus 1 upon 3 less than n plus 2 upon 3 okay now n is integer okay so this is uh, less than n plus 1 and this is a uh, more than n this lies between uh, consecutive integers n and n plus 1 so greatest integer of x plus 1 upon 3 will be n okay now we add 2 upon 3 to all sides we get n plus 2 upon 3 less than or equal to x plus 2 upon 3 less than n plus 1 this is a uh, more than n okay so we can say x plus 2 upon 3 lies between consecutive integers n and n plus 1 so greatest integer of x plus 2 upon 3 will be also n iska greatest integer bhi n hoga kyunki ye value consecutive integers n and n plus 1 ke beech mein hai okay so what we do from this we write greatest integer of uh, 3x as n plus n plus n Okay, we replace this n by greatest integer of x, this n by greatest integer of x plus one upon three, and this n by greatest integer of uh, x plus two upon three. Okay, so we prove this result when uh, greatest integer of three x is three multiplied by greatest integer of x. So let's prove this result for this comparison. we have greatest integer of x is equal to n so we get greatest integer of 3x is equal to uh, 3n plus 1 okay so 3x lies between consecutive integers 3n plus 1 and 3n plus 2 including 3n plus 1 okay now we divide uh, all sides by 3 we get uh, n plus 1 upon 3 less than or equal to x less than n plus 2 upon 3 okay we add 1 upon 3 to all sides we get n plus 2 upon 3 less than or equal to x plus 1 upon 3 less than n plus 1 okay this value is more than n so this value lies between consecutive integers n and n plus 1 so greatest integer of x plus 1 upon uh, uh, 3 will be n ये एन होगा ना ओके ना इन दिस वी एड टू अपॉन थ्री टू ऑल साइड्स वी गेट एन प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री प्लस टू अपॉन थ्री इज वन एन प्लस वन लेस देन और इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस टू अपॉन थ्री लेस देन एन प्लस फोर अपॉन थ्री दिस वैल्यू इज लेस देन एन प्लस टू फोर अपॉन थ्री इज वन पॉइंट थ्री 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 ओके सो दिस विल बी लेस देन एन प्लस टू 
ठीक है ना Now this lies between consecutive integers n plus one and n plus two. So greatest integer of x plus two upon three will be n plus one. Okay. Now this is three n plus one. Okay. We write like this: three n plus one as n plus n plus n plus one. Replace this n by greatest integer of x. This n by greatest integer of uh, x plus one upon three. And n plus one by greatest integer of x plus two upon three. Okay, so again this result is true for this comparison also. Similarly, we can prove for this comparison. इस comparison के लिए भी हम ये result prove कर सकते हैं, ठीक है? In general, we can write like this. We have this result: greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of uh, x plus one upon n. Plus greatest integer of x plus two uh, uh, upon n up to what will be last term? We have here two upon three. Okay, so in this case, last term will be greatest integer of x plus n minus one upon n. This will be equal to greatest integer of n x. Okay, here n is नेचुरल नंबर एन जो है वो नेचुरल नंबर है ठीक है ना वी विल हैव हैवर एन नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स वी हैव हैवर थ्री टर्म्स इन प्रीवियस केस वी वर हैविंग टू टर्म्स इन दिस केस वी विल हैव एन टर्म्स एन इज नेचुरल नंबर वी कैन हैव क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस सॉल्व द इक्वेशन ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ एक्स प्लस ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन थ्री प्लस ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स इस इक्वेशन को हमें सॉल्व करना है स्ट्रेट अवे दिस सम इज ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ थ्री एक्स इफ यू नो दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन राइट ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ थ्री एक्स ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स वे डू फाइंड वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स कैसे निकालेंगे ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ थ्री एक्स इज माइनस सिक्स सो थ्री एक्स लाइज बिटवीन कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स माइनस सिक्स एंड माइनस फाइव इंक्लूडिंग माइनस सिक्स ओके सो वी विल हैव माइनस टू लेस देन और इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन माइनस फाइव अपॉन थ्री एक्स बिलोंग्स टू क्लोज इंटरवल माइनस टू टू ओपन इंटरवल माइनस फाइव अपॉन थ्री ठीक है ना तो कुछ इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस बन सकते हैं इस प्रॉपर्टी के ऊपर